Welcome friends. This is the first chapter of our study. So in this chapter we will see introduction to HTML. For introducing HTML, first we will see difference between linear media and hypermedia. So what is linear media? Linear media is a term used to describe any media where there is a defined beginning and linear progression to the end. Forms of linear media such as a movies, audios and videotapes and most books organized with this expectation. The world wide web is organized very differently that is hypermedia. So let's discuss about hypermedia. Hypermedia is where the user simply select the next items of interest and it immediately transported to that new location. Example of this hypermedia is an audio CD where you can choose a song number 5 and listen it to almost immediately. When this concept is applied to text, you get the hypertext where by clicking on a link or hotspot, you are immediately transported to new location within the same page or a new page. So this is the example of hypermedia. For example, if you click on the some link and then you get transported to one new page. So let's discuss about now HTML. So what is HTML? HTML is an abbreviation of hypertext markup language where HTML contains several tags and elements. So what is tags? For example, B. B is the tag which is used to bold the text. Every tag is enclosed within less than sign and greater than sign. In less than and greater than sign element is there. For example, here B is the element which is used to bold the text and we write the text in bold tag that will be displayed in bold font. So here we have some text in bold tag. Every tag has closing tag and it is denoted by forward slash. So we have started B tag and close B tag by writing forward slash at the end of the tag. Now there is also attribute in tags. We have write font tag. Font tag generally used to give several style to our font. For example, we want to give color and size of the text then we can use font tag and we have to pass attribute in the font tag and we have to give property of the attribute. So we are giving green to our color. So this text will be displayed in green color. So this is about HTML markup and tags and attribute. Now let's see structure of the document. So this is the basic structure of the HTML document. Every HTML document start with HTML tag. Tag means elements which is enclosed within parenthesis which is less than and greater than sign. After HTML tag, there is a starting of head tag. Head tag contains several sub elements like a title, style, script, meta and link. So head tag is used for several purpose. For example, we want to set the title of the page which is displayed in the browser's title bar and used by search engine and to give the meaningful name to our web document then title is used. So title tag must be placed within the head tag. So we have written title and this will set the title of our page. Here we have set structure of document as our title. After title tag, we must have to close the title tag. After closing the title tag, we must have to close head tag also. So here the completion of metadata. Now there is a start of body tag. Body tag is generally used formats to our document. For example, all the contents of our document will be placed within this body tag. All other tags are written in this body tag and displayed on the web page. So our main focus is on the body tag, which is the container for several elements and tags. After all the elements are written in body tag, we must have to close the body tag. And then we have to also close HTML tag. 
so this is the whole structure of html document now let's see sub elements of header and purpose of that element as we have discussed title is used to set the title of the page for example if we want to give the title of the page this is the html structure then we must have to write html structure in title tag so that will be written in the title bar of browser link tag indicates relationship between this document and some other object on the web so this will be used in style sheet when we are using external style sheet or we want to link any other object to our document then link tag is used meta tag meta tag provides information such as a page keyword and description of page this tag is generally used by search engine to read various metadata about document and to extract information about pages another tag is script tag for example we want to write vb script or javascript then we can place that script in this script tag style tag cascading style sheets when we are using this css then we must have to write this css in style tag so this is all about sub elements of header tag so in this chapter we have discussed linear media versus hypermedia basic html structure and sub elements of header tag so this is all about introduction to html thank you